So, this car belonged to you? <laughs> well, it sure does. Where'd you find it? How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me by telling me what you know of Bart and Andy. Never heard of them. Even if I had, I take client confidentiality very seriously. And I take finding them very seriously. How seriously? Stop fucking with me. Talk. Unless you want the PKs to know you're hiding their fugitive. Are you out of your fucking mind? I ain't hiding no one! So what? You'll have to explain yourself to him. So talk. Fine! Your Bobsy twins hired me to make sure they and their kid got to the Colonel safely. Paid well. Easy job, really. But we ran into a peacekeeper patrol along the way. Nasty bunch. Ugh. Your boys freaked the hell out, worried about the kid, and had me leave them right then and there. I mean, what do I care? They paid up front. All right, then. Tell me where you left them. Okay. There's an old coffee shop not far from here by the off-ramp from the E-12. By a metro stop. <laughs> you can figure it out from there. Frank is one handsome fella. It's a shame he's such a booze out. Signs of a fight. Recent, too. Very recent. Oh, the weapon broke. Looks familiar. <sighs> They're hiding nearby. Based on this, they gotta be. Observing the 
hell are you, and what do you want? Whoa, calm down. I'm just here to talk. You look familiar. You Bart? Yeah. You're Aiden. Demire sent you. Yeah, she told me to find you and get back what you stole. But I talked to Stach, and more than a few others, about you. Made me think there's more to this situation than meets the eye. Meyer tried, but she couldn't help. I couldn't take it anymore. Day after day. Will you two keep it down? Liam's asleep in the next room. But whatever your personal issues are, desertion and theft are serious. She plans to send her men for you. She'll get a lot of volunteers for the search team. I'll be executed on the spot if they find me. Probably why she sent you. Give me a running start. So, you did steal the map. It isn't a map, per se, but tells the location of some secret PK stash. Weapons, I bet. It's all I can think of to offer in exchange for the Colonel granting safe haven to the three of us. I see. Like hell. People like you never do. You never see. Andy, stay out of this. It's too late for that. You know it. Fuck this map or stash or whatever the fuck it is. The PK are the monsters here. Surely you understand. You'd have taken this from me by now if you didn't. Is that what you think? I do. If you go back to Meyer and tell her you've killed us, I'll give you the coded message. And my dog tags. Do this. Please. Just let us be. I sympathize. But desertion and theft are serious crimes and I have a job to do. Please. This isn't desertion. This is survival. Not just for me, but Andy and Liam as well. Would you please just help us? None of you deserve this. Least of all, Liam. I'll help you. Oh, thank God. Andy, give Aiden the message and my dog tags. It's okay. If you say so. I had planned on going to the ship's library and finding a book or two that could help me decipher it. But things went south real quick. I didn't have time to check. Maybe I'll check. I'm curious what this is all about. Just don't get caught, or you'll be right behind us. Assuming you don't get caught, you'll never see us again. You're better off not going to the Colonel anyway. You know they call him the Butcher, right? We don't have a choice. What do they do? We'll stay here for now. Till we figure out what to do next. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. If I could find you here, others could just as easily. You should keep moving. You're right. We gotta keep a low profile in any case. But at least we're alive. And we'll be together. I wish you all luck. Take care. Looks like we got a real party going on here. You're Clint's man, I gather. Yep. He weren't kidding. You're a real bloodhound to track these pervs down like you did. Wait there. I'll handle this. Well, look who we have here. Managed to escape our boss, did you? Kind of wish one of you'd gone down. Would have meant bigger shares of the bounty for the rest of us. It'll certainly be a bigger share with you out of the picture. You gonna walk away, or have we gotta convince you? Violent. You talk tough. Think you can back that up? Oh, we're gonna back it up, all right. Kill him!
You're safe. They can't hurt you now. If only that was the last of our worries. Don't talk like that. We're alive, thanks to Aiden. I suppose. What'll happen to us now? One step at a time, Andy. Let's get packing. Quickly. Good idea. You don't want anyone else finding you. back. And? And your boy Clint was a real charmer. Thanks for that. Look, I had to double down on finding Bart. Tell me you found him at least. I did. And? Here's his dog tags. He's a little too dead right now to need them anymore. But Aiden, you weren't supposed to kill him. Even I wasn't gonna let that happen. He attacked me. I had to defend myself. I... I see. But the map. Tell me you at least got the map. Yeah, right here, as promised. And I know it's not a map. Whatever. Thank fucking Christ. If the Colonel or anyone had gotten a hold of this, it would have fucked up months of planning. Things are now unfucked, thanks to you. I'm glad to hear it. Kyra. So, have you found any dog tags yet? I've been running around a little, but here it is. Bartez's dog tag. Thank you on behalf of her husband. You deserve something. Do you have the other dog tags? Bartez saved Chris's life without hesitating. Yes. Chris owed her extra time in this world. Bartez was one of many women in our ranks, but one of the few that could kill a dozen infected all by herself. I have Roscoe's and Adam's dog tags. Here. This is a little something for you. Do you have the other dog tags? From what I heard, Brosco was Sierra's actual brother, right? Yes. They were inseparable. After Sierra died, Brosco became... hot-headed. He'd take on the most difficult tasks, as if he was provoking death. The day I had to tell their mother that he was gone too. That was one of the hardest days of my life. I found the dog tags of Sierra, Little Ron, and Kitty. Thank you, Pilgrim. This is for you. Pilgrim, I don't know how to thank you. The brothers from Squad 404 are reunited. Almost everyone. Thank you. Almost? I thought it... No, forget it. Now, is there anyone else? Don't waste your time. We've already looked for him. Kyra, you said yourself that we mustn't forget. One more dog tag is missing. My Leon's. The PK searched everywhere in the VNC tower, but they didn't find Leon's dog tag. Nor his body. I was the last one to see him there. I'll try to look for him. Really? Will you do that for me? For you and for myself. Yeah, I was with Leon then.
the last time I saw Leon, it was in this place. Maybe I can find the trace. There's blood everywhere. Wait, did he crawl? Oh, there's more blood here than there's water in the Terzawa. Says, did he? Did he get up and start walking? this. Sorry, Leon. We probably shouldn't tell Kyra how he we went. for a lot. I found him uh, at peace. I think he died quickly. Oh, that's so good to hear. Thank you. You can take everything away from a person, but the memory of a loved one is invaluable. What a relief. Until now, I felt like an uprooted tree. Here. I kept this recording hidden. Only friends of the squad know about it. I think if the guys were alive, they would agree that that's what you are too. Thanks to you, the legend of Squad 404 lives on and inspires others. Catch you stealing, you lose a hand, pal. Check. 
<laughs> Lieutenant Rowe, with all due respect, but Nemechek was a disgrace. Don't talk like that about the dead, Wurzbowski. We officers are taught that when a PK is sloppy, Man, I hate my job. you have to harden them. This side of the and that day, when Nemechek overslept for maneuvers, I sent him to the old brickyard for a night shift. Knowing he could die. <sighs> yeah, Chris. And I couldn't fall asleep that night. I hope Jack deals with him At four o'clock, I ran to get him. But it was too late. I left him on his own, and I've never been able to forgive myself. Now you understand why I train my unit differently from others. Well, first your brother, then the world. your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. Luan, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear, it seemed close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... 
we tend to just forget it. Wow, the shy type. Looks like your constellation is Cygnus. She, what, miss? <laughs> there, look, the swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool. Though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So, did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. But I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. You there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Hey, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. Fine. Be there soon. <laughs> 